This morning we're going to learn how to return a query to an array. And this is uh, really handy, especially when we look at the object-oriented nature of MongoDB. And so what we're going to do is we're going to actually take a, a kind of a selective query and we're going to output that as an array. And you'll see that it looks very similar to a subdocument because that's what an array essentially is. So let's look at this. We have our uh, collection here, db.habs.find. And we see that we have, um, looks like, a few documents here. And what I want to do is I'm going to select out first. I want to make sure I get the correct output. I want to select out first all of the habs here that the uh, days of success are greater than 100. Make sure I get the right output. Then I'm going to take that same query and I'm going to put the two array or apply the two array operator. And we'll notice that when we do that, it looks like that subdocument. It's in an array structure. So within this array now, we have these um, subdocuments, if you would, and these values essentially. And so what we can do with that. Uh, one of the applications to this, if you wanted to see, well, why would we want to do that? From an object-oriented programming perspective, there's a lot of uh, different applications here. One of the things we could do is we could say we, we could create a variable called 1h, and with our 1h, we could set that equal to, actually, I'm going to do it this way. Uh, we could set that equal to our query. So once we do that, if I were to call 1h, I have that uh, array listed. So if I was going to build a collection and I wanted to say, okay, so uh, db dot, uh, let's see, I've probably already done that, say new habs dot find, I'm not sorry, dot insert. And then if I said id one, and then I said values. one h bar one h okay so basically what i'm saying here is okay so this one's going to be the id of one what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and store uh, the sub documents that are within that 100 as we saw and of course i did forget a bracket opening bracket here otherwise i'll generate an error okay so now when we say db dot new habs dot find and then dot pretty what we'll see is we have that ID of one and then this array here that we created, that two array output, now is stored in a subdocument within a field of values. And so technically, for instance, every time I you know, for instance, we import data, if we wanted to keep a uh, collection or if we wanted to keep yeah, a separate collection that stored just the halves of over one hundred on the days of success we could store that within that subdocument this way. This is an example of how that would be applied. So you could see that storing things in an array or returning a query to an array can be handy depending on exactly how we want to output and read data.